Little Brogue would like your assistance with his smithing gig. And I'm gonna be real with you for a second. Is it's not going well so far. He's terrible at his job and most things that he does. He's it's he's just kind of a rolling tragedy. tempers the spirit and enriches the body. Tell me this task. The blacksmith of this forge, Master Tunhammer, is off on a delivery, and he left me in charge of forging a bunch of magical gear while he's gone. Thing is, I kind of forged my forging resume. I don't know how to smith magic items worth a dang, but I do know it starts with mining magic ore. You grab that pick and bust your hump mining and defending yourself from wild animals, while I do the much harder task of preparing the forge. You're all set. Now head to the quarry out back. That magic ore isn't gonna mine itself. There's the quarry. Ah! It looks like Master Tunhammer's locked it up. You can pick locks, right? Blossoming is not my usual purview, but I dare say I can manage. Nice picking, apprentice. Now put those skills to use on that ore. Since Tunhammer left me in charge, I'm the master. If you didn't before, you will now refer to me as Master Claptrap. If you did, keep doing so, and I applaud your initiative.
the cores there to fuse them into a workable hunk of metal. Fuse the ores, apprentice. Fuse the ores. not cut out for accomplishing things. Uh, it's this hammer. Master Tunhammer took the good hammer with him. And that magic ore is too strong for any ordinary tool to work. You try. Use the toughest tool you've got. I guess I was never made for a life of simple labor. Ah, well, adventure calls. Where to? To the mountain of despair! That's not its official name, but I am pretty desperate, so that's what I'm calling it. Also, bring the pick. No sense in letting good ore go to waste. If you find any while you're out there, bring it back here for some extra coin. The mountain is full of adventurers who got lost and kicked the bucket while carrying all sorts of <clears throat> magic loot. All you have to do is get the good stuff and bring it back here. Then oh. I can pretend I... I've arrived at the mountain's base. Where to next? We are looking for a ring that belonged to some... The Charles Ring of Fire Dancing let him walk on lava unharmed. But he was notoriously clumsy and fell face first into the river and burned to a crisp. All that remains is that ring. <laughs> Silly <coughs> humans. When will they learn that one wheel beats two legs any day? That's twice as many things that can go wrong. No wonder you're always tripping all over the place. Calamitous force! Seven chances at greatness. Ha ha ha! Please before the light.
Taking their stuff is way faster and more exciting. But it's a crafting quest. <sighs> My sweet baby friends. I pinky promised that next <clears throat> test show we can narrate all the boring stuff you love and roll dice all you want, but for now, <clears throat> we're doing things my way with guns <clears throat> and loot and adventure and actually interesting stuff. Fine. Like that poem? You can hear the rest of it at the tavern in Brighton.
had the chance. You feel lucky in a busy day. Some magic items for ourselves? That doesn't sound very heroic at all. 
Subcontracted your apprenticeship behind my back, have you? The Smithing Guild will have my head. Or one of our heads, anyway. Ah, uh, Master Tunhammer! It's not what it looks like! Uh, they were just helping me with little things! Uh, you know, I can't reach the tools on the top shelf! I did all the hard work! Right! Then let's see your hard work, shall we? With pleasure! A print! Yay, you there! Place my works on yon mannequin so Master Tunhammer can marvel at my craft! <laughs> you see, Master, I told you I could handle it. Take a look at these beauties! Oh, fine work, Apprentice. This is the work of a master. This master! In fact, I made these pieces myself! I'm gonna hammer you and your thieving friend into bloody bedpans! Some other desperate adventurer will be by to replace you soon enough, I'm sure. 